Uh, well, hello and welcome to ESC Plus. You're with Jamie Davis, and alongside me is the Netherlands act for this year, and that is Duncan Lawrence. Yes. And Duncan, it's an absolute pleasure. Let me give you a handshake. I know we've already done it. But pleasure to meet you. But how, how are you doing? How, how are you enjoying London? Is this your first uh, yeah, time? It, no, it's not. I've been to London like a couple of times, also to write songs um, with uh, with because there are like crazy talented people out here in yeah. London. Um, so I've been here a couple of times, uh, mainly to write, but also visit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. I mean, I, I'm, I I like writers. You know, I think it's quite amazing how because it must be quite motivating as well you know you have to be motivated to, yeah. to get those words out of you to, and get it down yeah. on paper but once you get started you're like you're on it you're yeah. on it yeah 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 that's and that's the case with me I just I just when when I go to like London or Stockholm or uh, and when I start writing like from that first session it's like come on bring it <laughs> like one song after another like every day one song at least yeah but, yeah oh, awesome yeah. Um, so you're from the Netherlands as we yeah. know uh, the Netherlands in the last few years, it's been it's been tricky, hasn't it? The common, tricky, yeah. The common linnets, of course, finished second in second, 2014. Second, which was a great achievement. It was it was a great song as well. Great country music as well. And we were just talking to one of your delegations, and he told me he was there with them five years ago. Yeah. But, you know, five years on, uh, in terms of the weeks coming up to the song contest, you, you are one of the favourites. So yeah. do, you, do you let that get to you in, in your mind, or do you just think, look, I've got to do my bit, play the song, and see what people think? It's kind of both. Yeah, it's kind of both. I do feel and see the, the, the pressure of, of the whole yeah. favourite thing, but yeah. um, at the same time, to me, it's all about the music, and I just put music first, always. That's why I actually like went to Stockholm this week to write new music. You yeah. know, that's the most important thing. And I think as long as you keep focusing on the song, because after all, it's a song mm. contest. Mm. Um, yeah, I'll be I'll, I'll be fine. I think. And whatever happens, I'll be fine. I'm I'm doing what I love the most. I I can like sing a song for like millions of people. <laughs> this is like the biggest chance uh, I could ever get. Uh, as a starting artist, I think that's what I love about Eurovision because I, I I did this last year as well, and I remember some of the acts were just like yourself, just could not wait to just do yeah. their bit, and and for you, you know, two hundred million people plus crazy. are going to be watching you crazy. On, on that night. That's crazy. <laughs> Those amounts are are, are mind blowing, and you <laughs> you shouldn't think of the amounts. I think, yeah. 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 Are you a, are you a sports fan or anything like that as well? Because I'm not really a sports fan. I'm more. Uh, I, I I do like exercise a lot. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, the only like things that I like to watch are the Olympics, the, yeah. those kind of things. Which is actually like one of the delegations of uh, uh, the Netherlands said, uh, "This is actually the Olympics of music." Yeah. And I was like, "Shut up already! I don't, don't put every, like, don't Just add the, the pressure." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm, I'm coping really well also with the pressure and with, with everything. I just see it as a big compliment. Yeah. Um, yeah. There is pressure, but it's good pressure. People would like to see me win. Um, and that's the biggest compliment you can get when you enter Eurovision, right? Absolutely, absolutely. N nailed it there, what you just said. And actually, in a way, you could say the Eurovision Song Contest, song contest is like a sporting event, you know. Everyone yeah. comes together, they celebrate celebrate Europe and, yeah. well, and Australia, of course. Australia's Australia in Europe also, for a week, yeah, isn't yeah, it? So, uh, yeah. you know, what's it been like for you so far going to all these events and seeing seeing other people and you probably make friends for life from it as well. I think I, I, I have already made friends for life here, nice. yeah, 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 which is good because you experience the same kind of feeling, which is not only representing your country, but also representing who you are and showing the world who you are and what you do. Yeah. Um, but also, like, it's it's one of the most vulnerable things you can do as an artist to to go on that stage, show the like whole Europe what you're about, and then get critique on that, and and that's 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 a vulnerable thing to do. So I think a lot of participants like gather up because we have that same kind of common yeah. feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what I sense is like. A big thrill and a big like, like excitement, and that's the part that I love the most. Like the excitement, the the enthusiasm, everything that comes with that. That's just like mind blowing and overwhelming, and that's it's great to be a part of this. Fantastic. Right, well, we're gonna go on to our Q and A. So just a few yeah, fire questions, yeah, just so that people can learn more about you. Um, I guess the first question is, if you could eat only eat one food, yeah, for the rest of your life, what would it be? Sushi. 
Sushi, wow, that was quick off the mark. Yeah, I yeah, it's my I, favorite food. I can't, decide, I can't decide if it's donuts or... No, I still can't decide no, with that sushi, question. Sushi, definitely, <laughs> sushi. Uh, dream place to live, as, as well as the Netherlands, of course. Um, I think Stockholm, mm. but I walked through Notting Hill, like, yesterday, and I thought, whoa, this is amazing. Like, big apartments, but so, like, hipster, yeah. like... Yeah, yeah. Great and music, live music everywhere. Camden Town, also yeah. really nice in London. Yeah. So it it would be either London or Stockholm, or Stockholm. I guess. And was 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 this week like Stock- the dream place? Your dream yeah. place was Stockholm the first time you went this week? No, I've been there for uh, like four times yeah. already. Also writing songs. So it's quite similar to my trips mm. to uh, London. Mm. Oh, all right, awesome. Uh, uh, the next one is if you had one million pounds, yeah, what would you do with it? I think I would definitely save it up for later, um, and I would definitely uh, take apart and see if there's like any good, like good thing that I can do with it without me being involved in it. Yeah. Uh, so more uh, a charity thing, but maybe like start something up from yeah. scratch, like a foundation or something. Yeah, I think yeah. I would do that, and of course I would like like invest a lot into the music but I think that would be like a dual thing to do like you you like make money from that music hopefully and yeah. then you invest it in, in something to help I think I would love to like start a foundation where children who can't afford to have like uh, music lessons or whatever uh, for some kind of reason that would be lovely to, to have such uh, to have like a meaning yeah. in in yeah. this in this whole media circus one million winning. <laughs> I mean, how how inspiring! Very inspiring that. Um, Thank you. If you had a second career, what would it be? Uh, okay, this is really this is gonna sound weird, but I studied <laughs> uh, Latin actually. Oh, Latin, yeah. Yeah, yeah and I really love translating uh, things from Latin, so I'd probably be like that investigator from a sort of Dan Brown book yeah, that yeah, like yeah. you know encrypts all these cryptic and like the words Da Vinci and, Code yeah, I yeah. love that I would love to like translate ancient languages and see what the world was about back then yeah and as, as you say you're a right you like writing and yeah it's maybe it's the language involved. part yeah, maybe yeah. It is. and discovering like new things and and discovering creative things back that were like yeah from back then yeah oh, fantastic um what animal would you be a uh, wolf. A wolf. I'm scared now. <laughs> no, no. A, a, a good wolf. Yeah. A wolf. <laughs> right. Uh, and if you had the opportunity, the ability given to you to live forever, would you take it? No. No. I, gonna, I, I think I'm the same. I, no. I. I. I think it, I would be sad and lonely. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. After like my first life, and then. I think I think it's a it's a because we're actually like getting there like yeah. we're getting going towards like mortality they actually discovered like did you hear they discovered a jellyfish who lives forever so it's an immortal oh. creature and they're actually trying to take the cells and try to see if it's if it could work on a human being but it would mean that jellyfish it gets bigger 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 and then it it gets smaller so smaller, it re- yeah. reborns every time yeah um, if that would be the case, I would maybe say yes because you would uh, forget about your pa- previous life. But would it be immortality then? Probably not. Oh, I this guess. is a good, a good one. Isn't it? I like that. Yeah. I didn't hear that article, but I'll have to have a look. For have that, a look yeah. at it. It's really, yeah, yeah. it's really interesting. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll wrap up. Um, just any messages for your fans as well? Uh, no, just just three words. Just be you. That's the best yeah. you can be. Yeah. Just be you and you'll be fine. Fantastic. Well, uh, Duncan, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And uh, we'll see you again nice, in Tel Aviv. Nice chat. I like it. <laughs> I yeah, you, will you be in Tel Aviv?